Yeah, this your boy was in God in Ghana. And shout out and good morning to everyone who is on my channel. Thank you for subscribing and sharing my videos. This morning I have some serious patriotic song which I would like to share with uh, my fellow Africans. So if you come on across this video, you share so that each and everyone will receive the video. The song, the, the, the song goes like this. We shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome someday. Oh, be in my heart, I do believe we shall Someday. I hope you remember this music. It's a patriotic song which our great great grandfather sang and they fought for us for our freedom. And now I'm asking, where is our leaders? Where is the presidents of Africa? If you listen to if you remember this music, if you remember this song, you are going to remember what our great great grandfathers fought for us so please listen to the uh, you can watch this video so that you too you can sing this song and help me share this video this video should reach viral you just watch this video what about this What's that? um what about the asians taking over africa oh yes oh my goodness i made the comment when yeah, you I was talked in about London. it yeah right. yeah Ethiopia, right? The only African nation to never be colonized up until now. Ethiopia is one of the largest recipients of Chinese aid in the world. Ethiopia also has a female president now. Shout out to the queen. But guess what? Ethiopia better do something fast because they are becoming over dependent on Chinese support. And why is the Chinese taking over Africa? Because they studied what the white man did and they said we're going to do it better than the white man. They are coming into Africa for four reasons. Reason number one, the China man is coming into Africa. China is overpopulated. I was just there a year ago in January of 18. There's too many of them. They got over 2 billion people in one country. America is only what, 500 million? Mm. They got 2 billion. China is looking for unexploited lands where they can send their excess poor people. Africa is perfect. That's number one. We got to reduce the population of China, so we're going to send all of our unwanted to Africa. Same thing Britain did when they founded the 13 yep. colonies. Second reason China taking over Africa, look at all the poor Africans. Can you imagine a better place to go and open up your factories and businesses where you can pay people even less than what you pay them in China? There's no minimum wage in many African mm. countries for foreign businesses. You can, you can exploit African labor better than you can exploit, exploit Taiwanese and Vietnamese labor. So the second reason they're in Africa, because guess what? I keep more of the profit. Mm. Third reason they're in Africa is to take over the resources, just like the white man. That's why they're giving out all these loans. These are not grants. Let me be clear. Mm. The money that <clears throat> China is giving Africa are not grants. They are loans. You might say, why is China giving Kenya more money than they know Kenya can pay back? You follow me? Mm -hmm. Why are they giving a poor country like Ethiopia more money? Because they don't want you to pay it back. Right. Because when you look at the contract, guess what it says? If you default right. on this loan, loan we keep all your, your tea right. fields are mine. Mm -hmm. All your copper <laughs> mines are mine. Mm -hmm. All your oil reserves are mine. And guess what? You already have an African nation that has defaulted on the loan. I think it was Kenya, but don't quote me. As a result of the default, <clears throat> China now owns all of a particular resource in that country. And the fourth reason that they are in Africa is to make the Africans dependent on them culturally, intellectually, educationally. Good day, Africa. I am here this morning to address the African presidents. And I specifically, I'm calling out the president of South Africa, who is the president of the African Union, and indeed all African presidents, that you must decide to either walk in the light of creative altruism 
or we all perish in the darkness of destructive selfishness. African leaders must demonstrate that they care for Africa. They must also prove to us in this time that they have not been compromised by the Chinese. Our brothers and sisters have been molested, have been insulted, have been harassed, have been maimed in China. And we have not seen any African president coming out to holistically address or call out the president of China. We are not to be treated like animals. The present generation of Africans are not the same generation of Africans that were stolen and taken in slave trade so many decades and centuries ago. We will not allow this to continue. It is an opportunity for African presidents to run around Africa this time and defend Africans in China. What we are seeing on the social media and in the mainstream media, the treatment method on our brothers and sisters across Africa is unacceptable to Africans, it's unacceptable to us in Nigeria. We are using this opportunity to call on African presidents to quickly become born again and begin to take issues that concern Africans as seriously. You must practice what I call African diplomacy, citizen, African citizen diplomacy. You must protect Africans anywhere in the world, except if you have all been compromised by China. This is a call on all presidents of Africa through the instrumentality of the African Union to wake up from their slumber. I pray the Almighty God will make this whole COVID-19 thing come to an end. We are resorting to prayer. We are resorting to God who is the supreme controller of the universe. And our belief is that he will rescue us. This day, I remember Mugabe. And I wish Nelson Mandela is still alive. Will he keep silent in the face of obvious obscurity? Will he keep quiet in times like this, in times of vicissitude and vacillation against Africans in China? African presidents, please wake up from your slumber. And I pray the Almighty God to bring this whole pandemic to, um, to an end. I also say we must please pray. And we must pray and pray. I use the opportunity to remember the song Martin Luther King sang in mid-60s during the Great March to Washington, D.C. And after singing that song, racism died in America and the blacks were liberated and Obama became president, the first black president in America. When Paul and Silas prayed in the prison, there was no freedom. But when they started singing, the prison door opened. All strategies were employed, was employed when the battle for the wall of Jericho to come down. But when they sang, the wall of Jericho came down. There's efficacy and power in songs. This morning, if you believe in the efficacy of the Almighty God, if you believe in the supremacy of God, who is the supreme control of the universe, join me in singing that same song as Luther sang in 1964 during the great march to Washington, D.C. And I believe God will lead our land, coronavirus, COVID-19 will be defeated, and we will all be happy again. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall I hope you have listened to the music uh, and you have listened to the, the video too. I hope each and everyone is going to share this video so that it will read viral. 
so that our leaders and our presidents in Ghana they will see this video and work on it for us because we will not allow these Chinese to take our land we will we will not allow these foreigners to come to Africa to take our resources and develop their country this is the time the youth of Africa we must to stand for our right because the land of Africa belongs to Africans the land of Africa belongs to our our family and our our children and our great great grandchildren coming we should protect the land else we will be in slavery and totally slavery we are going to be who are we going to get to come and fight another independence for us the, the independence fighters is, is us so we must to fight now for Africa the leaders of Africa we need you to fight for us don't let this video go astray but I know that you are going to let this video reach viral so that it will reach all the African countries I am a pan-Africanist and I'm preaching the word of Africa because I'm I'm tired and I'm tired for my land. I'm tired to see the maltreatment. I'm tired to see how these people maltreat us in their various countries. Stand up and fight for Africa. Thank you for watching. I know that you are going to share each and everyone who will see this video so that they will comment and bring their views so that we can do more and sell the image of Africa. The name is um, was in God in Ghana. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching. Goodbye.